Funny facts about the Bible, I bet you never knew. Welcome back to another video in our series of funny facts about the Bible and Christian sources, I bet you never knew. Today, we have a very interesting topic for you, a very touchy one, and that one is the topic of divorce, remarrying, and adultery. Divorce, indeed a very serious and undesirable reality, but a reality nonetheless. It is stated that the divorce rate is at or above the 50% mark in America. This is a serious crisis. But what's worse than this is the fact that Christianity and the Bible forbids a man or a woman to remarry after a divorce or else be sanctioned before God with adultery. For the Bible, it clearly states in a chapter of the book of Matthew, chapter 19, beginning at verses 1. It says, when Jesus had finished saying these things, he left Galilee and went into the region of Judea, to the other side of the Jordan. Large crowds followed him, and he healed them there. Some Pharisees came to him to test him, and they asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any and every reason? Haven't you read, he replied, that at the beginning the Creator made them male and female? And he said, For this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be unable and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let no one separate. Why then, they asked, did Moses command that a man give his wife a certificate of divorce and send her away? Jesus replied, Moses permitted you to divorce your wives because your hearts were hard. But it was not this way from the beginning. I tell you that anyone who divorces his wife except for sexual immorality and marries another woman commits adultery. The disciples said to him, If this is the situation between a husband and a wife, it is better not to marry. Jesus replied, Not everyone can accept this word, but only those to whom it has been given. For there are eunuchs who were born that way, and there are eunuchs who have been made eunuchs by others, and there are those who choose to live the life of a eunuch for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. The one who can accept this should accept it. Thus we see that the Bible has made detestable the act of divorce, and rightfully so, and further made forbidden the act of remarrying, which is most difficult as we've seen from the statement of the disciples themselves. But the question has to be asked, for those who do have to divorce, what are they to do for the rest of their lives? Are they now forced to become eunuchs, as the Bible says? Is this what the Bible and Christianity truly expects from people? Is this even practical? So now you have created another avenue to adultery. If remarrying is an avenue to adultery, and instead of remarrying, you impose upon the person to become a eunuch, a celibate, then this also opens up an avenue towards adultery, as you're going to see quite clearly from the words of Jesus shortly. So it is clear that the Bible and Christianity has no practical solution to marital issues. Stay together no matter what, and if you do divorce out of violation of God's law, then stay apart no matter what. 
And if you dare to marry another violating God's law, then you are forever an adulterer in a state of adultery no matter what. What a great religion this is. Let's say a spiteful, ungrateful spouse wants to leave the marriage. Knowing that if they walk out, the other is stuck there, left to be alone until they die. If they follow the teachings of the Bible. Or be cursed with adultery forever if they remarry according to the teachings of the Bible. If they follow the Bible or they become eunuchs. And this is what the Bible says as it states in Matthew 19, 12 as we read. But then the challenge remains. Look at what Jesus says in Matthew chapter 5, verses 27 to 30. Let's see what Jesus has to say about those who remain eunuchs and trying to stay away from adultery. But listen to what he says what actually adultery is. What constitutes adultery, according to Jesus, other than remarrying? In the book of Matthew chapter 5, verses 27 to 30, it says... You have heard that it was said, you should not commit adultery. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to stumble, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to stumble, Cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to go into hell. So according to Jesus, even to look at a woman lustfully is considered to be adultery. And if your eye offends you, according to Jesus, you should gorge your eye out and throw it away. That's better for you than to continue in that state and go to hell. And if your right hand offends you and causes you to stumble, then cut it off and throw it away. For it's better to lose that right hand than continue in that state and go to hell. This is the advice of Jesus. This is what he says. So now, this is our dilemma. If you married and you get divorced, for any reason other than sexual immorality, then it is impermissible for you to marry again. You must remain a eunuch for the entirety of your life. That means that if you and your spouse just becomes incompatible and it's just not working out for one reason or another, and you feel the pressures of divorce upon you and you can't stay with that woman or you can't stay with that man, even though neither one of you has committed sexual immorality, but the cohesion in the house is just not there and you cannot stay together peacefully. Either you stay together in turmoil and stress throughout the duration of your lives or you separate and divorce. But know for sure, if you do divorce on those premises, you can never marry again. And if you do in fact marry again, you are in fact guilty of adultery, both the man and the woman. And if you do stay celibate and become a eunuch or live as a eunuch, one who has no sexual organs, then that person is plagued with even the temptation of a woman or a man to be labeled as an adulterer and to be in a state of adultery according to Jesus. If you see a woman or you see a man that attracts you and it causes you to stumble, then according to Jesus, you should gorge your eye out and throw it away because that eye has done you no good. And it's better for you to enter into paradise maimed than to enter to hellfire whole.
And if your right hand cause you to stumble, then it is better for you to cut it off and throw it away. For it is better for you to enter into paradise maimed than for you to go into hell in whole. This is the teaching of the Bible. So bottom line is, damn if you do, damned if you don't. Damn that Bible. This is all we want presented for now. Stay tuned for our next video in our series of funny facts about the Bible and Christian sources I bet you never knew.